do, 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 do. Oh, this is an f- interesting story. Um, are you familiar with who Aria Lennox is? Um, I am. I've listened to her album. She's signed to TDE, an amazing songstress, soul R&B type of vibe. Um, she's run into a bit of an issue online, it seems, because um, she got uh, snubbed from winning a, a Soul Train Award, an award that she was hope- obviously looking really much forward to winning. And I think this whole issue maybe presents another case of why these new songstresses or artists that we have nowadays are, are very they're hard to support really they're quite they're they're very divisive figures which is probably what's led to them being successful i think the fact that cardi b is so outspoken so quote-unquote ratchet and loud is probably what's led to her success but i think for people like myself who want to have who kind of want to just focus on the music and don't necessarily care about all the antics it can get a bit exhausting and frustrating every time you kind of happen to see your favorite artist you know um come across your social media channels because you're a fan of their work you like the stuff that they do the algorithm is going to recognize that and throw it in front of you it's them kind of you know talking to a selfie camera on instagram live complaining about something or the other right and usually the complaints that they have uh, you know, they, you're, you're sure right to complain is your life, but you, some of the complaints are really silly, really asinine and have no real relevance to the music you're making. And it's hard for your customer, your, so it's hard for your fans, fan base to really sympathize with you because it's not really an issue that should be cried over, especially on social media in this way. And just in general, the personalities of these people, especially Harry, especially Harry Lennox, especially Summer Walker and Cardi B. They have a tendency to always go to social media and air their annoyances about things that are going on in their everyday life, which is really, really annoying and really a character trait that I kind of despise because it means that, you know, you're always panicking, always crying online. It's just annoying to kind of really see all the time. But again, you know, let's read the story and then maybe we can kind of uh, pull out some other reasonings as to why she decides to do this. So this is a story from Vibe. I tried to check her Twitter this morning, but she deleted all her previous tweets um, pertaining to this issue, but Vibe is able to round it up kind of in general this is the following Ari Lennox voices frustration over Soul Train award snub um Ari Lennox might officially be quitting music the article says after getting snubbed at this year's Soul Train awards the BMO singer who earned three nominations was pre- was a presenter during the award show held in Las Vegas which probably is the reason why she got annoyed by it uh, last weekend shared her disappointment in a series of tweets on Tuesday uh, no one will worry about me complaining after this current complaints Lennox began writing lol what I will not do is ever be depressed again which again I think is her own fault I think anyone that goes to an award show especially nowadays we have too much data we have too much we have too many um, examples of other notable artists namely Beyonce and other people who haven't won a Grammy haven't won an award at these big award ceremonies and have kind of kept it moving We've seen that these award ceremonies are less a reward ceremony for artists and their work the previous year or the current year and more so a celebration of the industry, uh, a platform to kind of, you know, pat record labels on the back, wax some egos, exchange some deals. And it really is an industry kind of, you know, give and take kind of thing. It's not necessarily a representation of the work and the good work some of these artists have done with their album or their performances or their features that's not what is happening we know it's a it's an industry game it's not an artistry game at all maybe she was naive enough to believe the soul training awards are different but for the most part all the awards are the same there's political uh plays that work that are way above anyone else's pay grade that kind of essentially lead to us seeing plants come further down the line right that's just, that's basically the matter of the fact of it um it continues washington dc native who's nominated for the best r&b soul f- female the best collaboration and album mixtape of the year categories uh, took home the award for best female artist chris brown scooped up the best collaboration category in lizzo's because i love you grabbed the album mixtape of the year so essentially if you look deep into this issue right um let me just read some of the tweets here so it's starts on the bottom right um off on the top maybe it's off on the top it's off on the top yeah so um let's 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 read the tweets you know what i realized uh, people generally f with me understand my frustrations people who are self-hating haters clearly have never given any music my music a chance got got the biggest problem with me now always that's not true i think her fans will have an issue too because her fans would be like you seem ungrateful it's as if like your mixtape or album doesn't matter now because you haven't got an award and also the entitlement that you came into this with like anyone that goes to an award show expecting to win is insane 
like expecting to win like i'm going to win that's insane you're nominated as a win already you're hoping you might win and if you don't win cool be gracious in defeat and keep it moving and if anything maybe the lo- the loss of a nom- the loss of an award should kind of be the motivation you need to kind of continue pushing so that next year you're able to win and if you don't win the next year you do it again you do it again you do it again until you reach a point where you start to realize that actually when you get into this music industry i would assume me being a uh, uh, an aspiring professional DJ, right? I want to kind of, you know, maybe later on in the future when I'm at the level that I pertain, that I want to get at, I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to become a professional DJ that plays at the Burger and all these amazing places. That's what, that's what kind of I've said out loud, right? I'm manifesting that. I'm going to be a professional DJ. Cool. But I'm not in this, I'm not in this so I can win an award or be voted the number one DJ by DJ Mag. I could give a toss about that sort of stuff. The dream is to be able to play music that I play at home, that I play in local bars and clubs all around the world, to have my name recognized, to have people look forward for me to coming and to be booked year in, year out. That's the dream. I think most musicians are the same, right? When you start your band in your dad's garage, you don't have the dream of standing up on the Oscar stage to win a, no, standing up on a Grammy stage to win a Grammy the first time. You just want to, you know, sell out your local auditorium. You want to then maybe go on tour, maybe collaborate with your favorite um, artist or band. The art, the awards thing just happens as a, as a consequence of you becoming, of you being part of the industry of maybe managers and agents and people and record label executives kind of waxing your ego and telling you, man, that last work you did, man, that, sh- that, that should really up be up for an award, kind of guessing you up. But really and truly, I think most people, most artists in the scene are in it just for the fans, are in it to connect with an audience, are in it to kind of boost their uh, sonic signal and kind of get all over the world, right? Have their music chart or have it on radio. The awards finger is not really a thing, I think, until you get into the industry. And that's the mistake that she made. She got to industry, she started to believe her shit don't stink. And then unfortunately, the industry, as it always does, gave you a bit of a reality check, a bit of a gut check and told you there's other things that play as a per- there's other things that play apart from your artistry. It would be nice if it was an award ceremony was just specifically centered on, you know, the work that you did, how you performed, the uh, effort, the concepts, the themes you know your overall talent level that would be nice but it's not like that and i think we have to operate in the world as the world is and not operate in the world as we want it to be and i think if you do that you're going to be fine if you don't you're going to be like oh then it's crying online complaining throwing your fans under the bus essentially uh dragging another female artist again this is because to show just how flimsy the whole support women and female empowerment thing is another female lisa wants it a bigger woman, a woman who specifically has all the chips against her in terms of what she looks like, right? In terms of her, in that kind of respect, you know, you know how vain um, the record industry is. You only have to look at kind of the trouble that Megan Taylor is having in her in her career. Most of it is because of how she looks. Unfortunately, um, I think that um, Lisa being successful as she is is kind of a real big uh, credit. Maybe even if, it, if she even if she is a plant, it's you know something to be heralded. But in this whole outrage and this whole outburst and Alanis is having she's essentially dragging another sister another black female down in the process you know so again it's it's a really unfortunate circumstances to be in but it continues um no one will have to worry about me complaining after this current complaint lol what i will not do is ever be depressed again again it's your own fault it's not just an award it wasn't any award it was the soul train awards as you can see i'm a big fan of soul music and i'm a huge fan of soul train history of course that's fine that's perfectly okay. But I think this, or maybe she was naive enough to believe because she presented an award that she was also going to win one. We've seen that happen before. That's not necessarily the truth. I think award ceremonies are very clever, manipulative in a way that they would sometimes insinuate to a manager or an artist that if you present the award, you could potentially be able to get one. But I think, again, if you're an artist and you know the history of award shows and you have done your homework you should know that that's a ruse that's a game manipulation tactic you don't you shouldn't be that naive really honestly it's been done before it continues um being snubbed was something i always expected but was never was definitely prepared for but not by them again that's an entitlement that i think is just insane for an up-and-coming artist to have uh my intent was to never shade other nominees but you have i hurt and don't expect solace haters to understand that Again, she's she's kind of conflating loads of different issues in one. Everyone I wrap, everyone I wrap my mind around. Every time I wrap my mind around, sorry. Every time I wrap my, wrap my mind, ugh, I can't speak. Every time I wrap my mind around it, I just can't accept it. 
it feels like a breakup i made a soulful album i never ran away from who i am i just expected that one platform to understand that you did not understand it they nominated you for it stop crying me being honest doesn't make me less gracious or less of a star worthy yes it does i'm not selling out so i quit it's clear i'm not cool enough not trendy enough and i don't care to be i don't strive to be yes well you clearly are i'm not going to chase this shit ever again no one no more fake shit on my part it's not just the Air awards sbp was slept on by so many by so many ways i'm too emotional to pretend like i'm playing this game again she's too emotional again this is the problem i have with these new artists man she's so much emotion so much crying i think some of these artists are really unaware or naive of just what it takes to be a top level performer to operate at that level i think nowadays we have got a lot more respect for the likes of rihanna and beyonce we don't see any of them kind of out you know melting in public like this at any slight inconvenience i think the idea of being professional and you know keeping your cool and not kind of freaking out is something that's foreign to these new acts which is really annoying and again it's just a frustrating process to be involved for everybody that's involved in this because no one wins fans get annoyed by it artists get annoyed by it i just don't sound people other people get annoyed by it people in the industry are getting a nose put out and again women are tearing each other down because they didn't win a bloody award a dumb award show it doesn't make any sense concentrate on your fans concentrate on people that actually love you and go from there when you were singing in your bedroom where no one cared and uploading songs on soundcloud getting one play you would have killed to be just recognized by your peers now you're recognized by your peers you want the world delivered to you like you know immediately and you're not even 10 years in the game and you're already crying about things and being entitled just insane man insane